We may take it for granted now, but only a few decades ago the ability to see a person through a phone was a novelty. Now, fascinating footage from the 1950s has resurfaced that shows the amazement the public felt at what appears to be a very early precursor to the video phone. The clip was taken in a Bell Labs office in San Francisco and features a woman using a phone that cost £33,000, $46,000, in today's money. The footage was part of a newsreel in 1955 and shows the woman using a dial-up phone with two small screens in front of her. The male commentator notes that the video phone provides a reason for women to spend time primping before making calls. Scroll down for video. The woman can be seen in one of the screens and, after adjusting her makeup and dialing the required number, a man suddenly appears on the other screen picking up the receiver at the other end of the line. The two then proceed to have a short conversation before hanging up. The video phone, which was made by Bell Labs, was at the cutting edge back in 1955. The footage shows a large crowd gathered round to witness the first test of the innovative technology at the Western Electronics Convention. And, in a sexist way that was typical of the time period, the narrator explains exactly how the system operated to the audience. How does it work? He asks rhetorically. Just lift the receiver and you see your own image. This features for the girls, at long last a reason for the primping that usually precedes a women's phone call. No picture is transmitted over the line though since no call is placed. Then dial your number just as with an obsolete old 55 model phone, and when your party answer there he is, almost as big as life on the 10 inch video screen. The narrator goes on to explain that the phone, while certainly impressive, would cost $5,000. 3,600 pounds, back in 1955. That would be the equivalent of roughly $46,000, 33,000 pounds, in today's money. It would be some years before the technology became both portable and affordable, though most mobile phones today have the ability to make video calls. The first public demonstration of a one-way video phone happened in 1927. It was between Herbert Hoover, the U.S. Secretary of Commerce, and officials of the American Telephone and Telephone Company in Washington. By 1956 Bell Labs had created an early video phone that could be used over existing telephone circuits. In 1963 engineers developed a first complete experimental video phone known as a picture phone. By 1971 a second generation picture phone was in public service. 